Your Ottawa Fury took on the Vermont Voltage on Wednesday. Last time these two teams met, it resulted in a 0-0 draw. Before the match, Mark Dos Santos took the pitch to introduce himself to the Ottawa crowd. And you know the Fury would look to impress next year's NASL head coach. In just the third minute, Carlo Basso looking for his first of the season on this set piece, but his header goes off the crossbar and stays out. Your hometown side would keep pressing. Loic Miliani would send a crossover to the box. Carl Hayworth would dig it out and send it to Carlo Basso, who would head home the first tally of the game. Moments later, the Voltage pressing for the equalizer. Get a great opportunity here, but Archer Pripercroft with a brilliant defensive play to head the ball out of danger. Vermont would keep pressing, though. They get another good opportunity here, but Chad Bush with a great save jumping up to knock that ball out of play. The Voltage would keep looking for ways to tie it. Golden opportunity here on a 2-on-1, but Chad Bush comes up huge, not once, but twice with two big stops there, and those saves would be very important. Just moments later, Bush boots the ball down, Carl Hayworth picks it up, he spots Eddie Jones, who makes no mistake, Fury are up 2-0. When Ottawa gets going, there's almost no stopping them. Look at the passing here, great poise, Noik Miliani showing off some fancy footwork before putting it into a wide open net. Fury up 3 0 going into the half. Halftime wouldn't stall the Fury's offense in just the 49th minute. Sean Foster gets his head on this corner kick to put the Fury up by four. Don't let the score fool you. Vermont did have their chances. Chad Bush coming up huge once again to keep his clean sheet intact. With the game winding down in the 84th minute, Carl Hayworth sets up Andrew Souza for his first goal as a member of the Ottawa Fury in his debut. With the assist, Hayworth breaks a Fury record for most assists in a game with four. And with that, the Fury win 5-0. For his goal and strong defensive play, Sean Foster was named Booster Juice Player of the Game. Post-game, Fury TV caught up with him, but this time it was Eddie Jones conducting the interview. Fuzzy, uh, what do you think the difference was from last game to this game? Obviously um, a 5 no win. Yeah, um, obviously a bit more hunger. Uh, the team prepared better. We had a few days off at the weekend. Um, a lot of team bonding. Um, me and Eddie and Carl, uh, John Barden, we all played frisbee a lot. So um, we bonded over that and it certainly helped with our team camaraderie. Very good, very good. So uh, the first team manager was here today. Do you feel that affected your performance? Um, no, obviously you should prepare and play the same way every game, uh, leave everything out there, but it's nice that he came now, it's nice that he's shown an interest in, uh, in our games and hopefully we did enough today to impress him as a team. Yeah, very good. Do you think you uh, warranted the man of the match performance? Um, yeah, obviously. Um, no, I'm just completely joking. Um, Chad Bush behind me I thought had a great game. Um, Jacob Van Kumpenel also had a great game, although he did get a really, really naughty nutmeg at the end. Really, um, really bad. He's feeling a little bit upset in the changing rooms, but you know he'll bounce back from this at the weekend. Yeah, he's actually uh, going to see the psychologist about that one, but uh, we'll get that sorted. Okay, okay. Good stuff. Anything to add? No, that's it. Thank you. Hey, well done. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. Good stuff. <laughs>